Hello class, this is a video tutorial on index laws part 6. In this video, we'll be looking at working with mixed bases. Since index laws tend to operate only when bases are the same, we need to be able to factor expressions that have indices. Alright, so we're going to go through um, nine examples, and we're going to go straight into it with these first three. At any time, you can pause. I'll show you the next three and the last three. We'll be going through um, all nine of these in uh, two or three different videos. So let's see how fast we can go through these. All right, let's get straight to it. All right, so for this, normally, if this was something as simple as two to the power of x times two to the power of x, we know that since we have the same base, these indices would add which would give us 2 to the power of x plus x, which is 2x. However, we can see straight away that this is not the same base. So because of this, we would have to think more creatively and factor the 8 so that it has the same base as the 2. So this would look like the following. 8 I know is 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x. By more index laws, power outside of a power, this will give us 2 to the power of 3x times 2 to the power of x. And this would give us, well now since the, they are the same base, this will give us 2 to the power of 4x. And so this is how we would simplify this expression to this. Granted, if um, you get more confident with these, you can skip to this step, which would take you to this step. Or if you could really get familiar with these, you could skip straight away to the final step here. But I definitely don't recommend that when we're first starting off. Let's move on to these next two examples. Here we go. For these, I'm going to break both of them or factor both of them so that they have the same base. And the base that I can see that they both share is 3 to the power of 3n divided by 3 to the power of 2n. And in case that was a little difficult, I'm going to do the middle step like I did in the first example. 3 to the power of 3, the power of n, and 9 is 3 to the power of 2 to the power of n, which will take us to this step, which now, because we are dividing by the same base, these would subtract, so 3n minus 2n would give us 3 to the power of n. And there we have it. All right, moving right along. Now, here's the first instance where we have this minus 2 and plus 2. Now, watch very closely how we might factor or break apart that expression. Let's fix this up a little bit. Now, the numerator is going to be 3 to the power of n. Oops, but because we are uh, because we're subtracting this index, it's the same as dividing by three to the power of two. In case you've missed it, this is an expression where the bases are the same, meaning because of the, the division, we are subtracting indices. Okay, so likewise, this denominator I'm going to break apart into 9 to the power of n times 9 to the power of 1. Because remember, we are adding an index, which means we are, we are multiplying the same base. Now I'm going to do some more algebraic techniques here. Um, this 9 to the power of n, I hope we can see, is going to be uh, 3 to the power of 2n times 9. And now this divide, 
3 to the power of um, 2. Because everything we see here is all multiplication and division, we could actually write it out to the side like so. And because it is being divided, I'm really showing all the little steps here, it's actually 3 to the power of 2 over 1, which because we are dividing by a fraction, it is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So it's going to be 1 over 3 squared. And doing all of this, 3 squared is 9 times 9 will give us 81. And now we're left with 3 to the power of n, 81 times 3 to the power of whoops, 2n. We're not quite done because we are dividing by the same base. Let's actually work up here to get more space. Because we're dividing by the same base, 3 to the power of n divided by 3 to the power of 2n will actually be 3 to the power of negative n over 81, which by index laws, a negative index means this is moved into the, the denominator, which will give us 1 over 81 times uh, 3, whoops, 3 to the power of positive n. And this here is the most simplified version of this problem here. Oh, all right. I hope that gave you an insight into how we can, um, I guess, factor or break apart um, expressions with different indices. And um, I hope to see you in the next video where we tackle these next three. Hope to see you then. Best of luck.